Hey everyone, welcome back to Triple R Reefer. Um, I did just record another video, but figured, you know, while I have some time to go ahead, I should go ahead and film another one. Turn this off. Dishwasher. All right, so I figured I'd go ahead and film another one and go ahead and discuss, because it'll be an easy short one, um, uh, Kalkwasser reactor that I have. I have the K1 Avast Marine Calc. Damn it. You saw that? Knock my clam over. Uh, so I have the K1 uh, Calc Wasser reactor, and it is awesome. So I'm going to kind of go over my setup and kind of show you all how I personally recommend setting it up. Uh, there's many ways to do it. But I'm going to show you mine, and then I'll tell you some other ideas. I might tell you some other ideas. It's pretty self-explanatory. Real quick, look at the algae. Damn near gone. I will say this. The urchins were mopping it up. Okay? If you go look at my first video, and then maybe second or third, compare the rocks. Oh, man. Urchins are solid. I'm actually going to rehome a few of these so they don't starve. I think I'll probably be okay, but um, there are so many in here. So uh, anyway, if you're even remotely uh, dealing with algae, uh, get an urchin. They work. All right, so moving on to the Kalkwasser reactor. So many, as many of you know, hopefully this doesn't look terrible. Uh, I have all my lines going out the window right here to... A reservoir it's my auto top off reservoir and guess what it is a 55 gallon brute full of high quality h2o let me take this filter off mm, okay I'll put it back on whatever all right so it's out there and I keep that thing full I don't have any sensors it's 55 gallons and I, I do I do enough uh, uh, hands-on to kind of stay in tune with it. I probably should set a, a little optical sensor in there, but I just keep an eye on it. Uh, I've never had it run out, and uh, it lasts so long. I mean, a few two weeks, I can go out there, and I still got plenty left. Uh, so anyway, so outside, 55 gallon uh, brute is my main source of water. So you do feed uh, the the reactor with uh, RODI. So what I have is a PMUP, which is an Apex pump, hooked up to, uh, I can never remember the names of these outlets, but it's just one of these outlets here that powers it, okay? And so it's not, uh, it doesn't have an actual power supply, it uses just the cord itself straight into uh, the EBA32. And I use the, I want to say it's OWC command, or OSC command. Uh, essentially what that command does though, and, and I apologize for not knowing the algorithm, I mean the, the uh, not the algorithm, oh my god, the acronym, um, but just look it up. Uh, so what the way it works is there's a, a time that is basically a do nothing time, and then uh, you'll set another time which is the run time, okay, uh, and say you know, for me, I started at about 15 seconds. Let me get off of this so it's not such a boring video. Uh, so it's set at about 15 seconds. And so that pump is going to run for 15 seconds. And then I have it set to, let's say, 200 minutes off. Okay, so every 200 minutes, uh, it'll wait, say, 10 seconds. Then it'll run for 15 seconds, and it'll wait another 200 minutes. Okay, that's how I have mine set up. The, the reason I like this is because I can go in and change how much time I want it to run for, how long it wants to go before it runs. And so I really control it with the, uh, the difference in time between runs. Um, that really just helps to save the outlet uh, clicking off and on. Actually, I don't know if that's an outlet as far as an actual... Anyway, uh, so that's how that works. Uh, it's just a, a time thing. So... Uh, very simple to do. You do want to just absolutely double check that you have uh, that you have the uh, the time correct before you hit send. 
Uh, real quick, we'll talk about some safety parts of that. So number one, I have an Apex. Uh, the Apex, yeah, I've already spoke about that a little bit. I will go into some more videos about that because I feel so strongly about a controller and its ability to save your reef tank, um, especially when you're dealing with stuff like uh, Kalkwasser or, or dosing or anything for that matter that can kill your whole tank. So um, the, the safeties I have. Uh, number one, the Apex is, uh, is monitoring my pH and I have it set to shut this outlet off uh, that's hooked up to the feed pump, the PMUP feed pump. It is set to, if the pH exceeds 8.5, uh, to shut off, shuts the outlet off, and the PMUP is no longer being powered. So that's one safety. Um, I don't trust that one by itself. So what I've done is I've hooked up a solenoid. It's an Apex solenoid. Hopefully y'all can see it right here. So this guy, of course you can't see it. But anyway, this blue line goes into an Apex solenoid. And I have that set to always open. And so what that will do is um, it stays open. And in the case my pH goes over 8.5, it will close that solenoid. And so water can no longer flow through that line into the Kalkwasser reactor. So that's double redundancy. I will generally love to have three, um, but you know, can't always have everything we want. So, uh, let me take this off now. Yeah, way better. Okay, so that water from the PMUP flows in. Can get onto the thing. Flows into the reactor. Um, this is uh, one reason I really get all this crap out of the way. So one one reason I really like this uh, this reactor is because it's constantly uh, turning uh, or mixing. It's no, there's no timer or any outlet that's needed that um, uh, that's needed for you to be able to do anything special with it to turn it off and on for times. So very simple. So this uh, this will fill uh, after a certain amount of time and then overflows right. Oh, hit the light. Overflows and goes straight into the tank right here. Very simple, it's gravity fed uh, from that point. Um, it is downstream of the pH probe, so it will take some time to get back around. Uh, so that is one thing to factor in. You know, if you feed it upstream of your probe here, here's my probe, this would be upstream of the probe. Water flows down this way, so that's downstream of the probe. Uh, it will take a little bit longer to go through the system back around for the probe to read it so you risk a little bit of overshooting um, but with any decent amount of water volume you should be fine and let the uh the safeties catch that so that is how i have my calc washer reactor set up very 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 simple and i guess i will go ahead and touch on another way to feed it which is a good is a doser. Um, a doser to me is just uh, another thing that requires a little bit more maintenance than I want to deal with. You can get air in the lines. Um, I don't know. That, to me, a pump just makes more sense than a doser dosing. Now, you can be more exact with a doser, but you know, you're talking about. Um, not much difference when when you actually dial these things in my calcium reactor does the the heavy lifting anyway uh, but uh, i use this as a supplement to help with ph but you know do it however you want to that's just the way i do it and the way i recommend if you have any questions uh just drop them in the comments and i'll be happy to answer that and uh help you uh hopefully get your stuff set up i highly recommend this system it is awesome really helps with ph Corals love Kalkwasser. They love it. They love it. Maybe not Ghanis, but anyway. Okay, so uh, if you got any questions, again, drop them in the comments. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like my video. Pretty please. All right, thank you all for watching.